Okay, everybody. We got some ground beef again today. This one is 73% lean and 27% fat, so however you want it. And I'm going to take some aluminum foil again in the wonderful Burton, excuse me, Road Pro. <laughs> I got a shook ahead from the driver over there. Road Pro stove. And uh, we're going to cook up some meat here. Plug it in. Get our meat open. Carefully without cutting myself. You're all probably going to tell me this is an easier way to do this, right? Break it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add some seasonings here. I got some taco seasoning, the seasoning mix that I don't use all of it like you normally do if you're making up like tacos or Mexican stuff because I usually add our other special seasonings that we usually put in. And again, this is all to taste. You guys know that. You guys have watched me cook enough. I add some cayenne pepper, some cumin. Now this is heating while I'm doing this, so if you guys plug it in while you're adding stuff, be careful it does heat up quick. Again, we don't want any burns to have to deal with. Well, on the road, that is no fun. And then some garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce or your favorite hot sauce. And basically what I'm doing is I'm frying this up like you would make it for tacos. So this is kind of going to be like a two in one thing because we're going to actually go like one step further and do a little bit something different with the taco meat once it's cooked up. But in a sense, I'm showing you guys how to make tacos and then how you can expand on that. So we're gonna close this up, let that heat up and start cooking. All right, everyone. We are finished cooking our hamburger here. Steering it, you know, opening it up and taking the spatula it up as it cooks. It's all nice to cook now. Now at this point you can drain off the fluid, the oil, and the grease and stuff. Add a little bit more seasoning. There you go. You got taco meat. Throw it on some shells. There you go. We're going to drain off the meat and go one step further. Add some refried beans, about half a can. Add a little easy melt or velveta. Heat it up and kind of reheat it all up with a little bit more seasoning and then eat it with some tortilla chips. So at that point you got a kind of a dip going on. So it's the one thing we like about Mexican is basically you can do whatever you want to it and it's still Mexican. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Thank you. Velveeta. <laughs> Multiple uses. <laughs> 
take a little bit, be patient, but it's worth draining all the fluid off. Actually, I have quite a bit with this amount of meat. show you what it looks like when it's all done. Stuff this this gook that you're making. This gook that I'm making. Yeah. 
Since you're putting it in a bowl. Yep, we're putting it in a bowl. And we have Okay, I think they get the picture. Basically, like pretty dip. okay. So basically, it's just a dip lunch yep. thingy. It's like a taco dip. So it's cheese and sour cream. Yep. Exactly. Or whatever else we want to put on it. Yep. Exactly. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care.
So what are we doing today? Well, I got a three quarter tank of fuel. I got half a pack of gum. I got my crystal light. I got 540 miles to kick out before midnight to make this load on time. And it's currently, we have maybe an hour and 15 left in the window of what we can get away with. And we have to go from Joplin, Missouri area to Chicago. This bitch ain't stopping for nothing. So I'm sorry, Sam. It's going to be a long day for you. I know. I'm prepared. But if those monkeys last night wouldn't eat two hours, I know. I'd have more, more time to play around on the way up there, so. I figured it'd be 
cool just to show, like, see if anybody picks out. Well, yeah, we've done that. We're done with the run, and then all these other things, like, we don't know which way we're supposed to go. Well, little asses. <laughs> and donkey. And cheddars, oh my. So is this construction or is this uh, an accident? truck over, uh, just passing 209 over 6, uh, just right before the 210. He's blocking the hammer lane, you want to be in the granny. Thank you for the and no problem. Granny, hammer's blocked. Boy, was 
traveling westbound and he flipped into our side. Yeah, the accident's 209 over 8. Westbound, you guys uh, want to be in the granny lane. You also at the 210 on ramp, you want to make sure you're clear. You got a whole bunch of service vehicles coming on to go down for that accident. You might want to get over to CDN. You got emergency vehicles coming up behind you.
podcast. I want you all to know I died eating pork and beans. Are you in there? Can you hear me? Help! I'm stuck with the wife on the road! She's gonna kill me! I'm Cheeto and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?